Hey guys, Elvin Archer here. Now, I have had this knife for a little while. This is a Folkneven A1. I actually got it in trade for one of my uh, Ranger pendants, which on a side note was a good abject lesson in the difference between the value we put on things and their actual monetary worth. That's a side note. It's a fantastic knife. It chops, it batons, it's an absolute beast of a blade. However, I don't use it very often, mostly because of this. This is the sheath. And you know, it's a pretty decent sheath. It looks nice, it's stitched well. But the problem with this sheath, you see it's free hanging, it just hangs off your belt, and that's fine until you start actually doing anything. If I were to hang this knife off of my belt and then, for example, start flossing really hard. <laughs> we're not using that. So if I were to put this knife on my belt and then start uh, sprinting across the border. So if I were to put this on my belt and start lightly jogging. It would start flapping around. It would start hitting me in the leg, flopping around here, and it would just wouldn't be ideal. So today I want to make a custom Kydex sheath for this knife that's going to have a ton of carry options and also be really simple to make. So stick with me. Let's do it. So for materials on this I've got some grommets, a square ring, some paracord, a buckle, some strap, um, some of this weird plasticky stuff. I don't really know what that's called. And that's really it. We're going to need minimal tools and it's going to be really simple. So let's just, uh, wow, jump cuts make everything so much easier. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Elvin Archer out. Okay, but for real though, I started with a really simple plan. I just traced out the knife and marked out where I want to put my grommets. And we're just going to cut that out of, um, oh right, it's called Kydex. That's right. Sorry, I forgot the name of it for a second. We want all of these holes to line up really well, so I just put some tape on there. That'll hold them in place while I'm drilling so they don't shift around too much. Hey, will you look at that? The drill bit was too small. <laughs> Okay, and now we're just going to put in all the grommets and then set them. Still, some of these holes are not drilled big enough. And it's the point now where it's not a funny meme for me to like get angry and drill them out bigger. This of course insinuating that any of my memes are funny, which is up for debate at this point. Okay, now that all the grommets are in, I'm going to probably knock about half of them right back out. Uh, but I'm just going to use this little grommet set and uh, mini all near here to set all the grommets. So now that we have all of our grommets in place, we just need to form the sheath around the knife. I'm gonna use a heat gun, but you could use a toaster oven or probably even a regular oven as well. We don't need to make it that hot, just hot enough so that it's malleable. The problem though, is if we heat this up and stick the knife in, all of our grommets are just gonna pull out. So, we need to dip the edges into this pan of ice water. And that's gonna cool and harden the kydex around the grommets so that they won't pull out. So let's get poppin', Jimbo. I would just like to take a second to appreciate how nice of a fit this already is. So what we want to do with this is to close up these gaps a little bit. That's just going to make it look cleaner. We're also going to have to shape this part so that the guard clicks into place but then isn't going to rattle around or fall out.
All right, so four days and one wisdom teeth removal surgery later, let's finish this sheath. So now on this other piece of Kydex, I'm just marking out what we want our belt loop to look like. Alright, would you look at that? Now I can finally take this knife with me on my adventures. This is fantastic. Okay, but to give this a little bit of explanation, I like the knife in a drop leg configuration because your hand just sort of naturally falls to it. And when you pull it, you're not stabbing yourself on the ribs with the handle. So it's really nice to have down here. But there's more! You don't necessarily need this buckle right here, but if you have it, it's super easy to detach the knife do something else with it perhaps, and then click it back on when you're ready. But wait, there's even more. I slip it on the snow. If you take this and you throw it away, you can use the paracord to just wear the knife on your belt as a cross draw sheath. This is my absolute favorite way to carry a knife. It's not in the way when you sit down, there's no straps that get tangled with anything, and it's a really simple and effective way to carry a knife. Even on a big knife like this, it's comfortable to wear this way. But wait, that's actually it. There isn't any more. God, my face is still so swollen. I hope you enjoyed making this sheath with me today. I think it's a really easy and simple way to make yourself a custom Kydex sheath for your knife. And as you saw, lots of carry options. Oh, wait, there is more. I totally forgot something. That one inch spacing on the grommets is actually perfect to weave through mullet webbing. for ultimate tacticalosity. Okay, that is actually all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you tune in next time. Thanks for watching, Archer out.